Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Gom's Tech Talks channel. Welcome. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about several error handling features in Business Central, particularly using AL programming. So, what is first of all error? Like, well, let us understand what is error and why do we need to uh, think about this error? In Business Central, in any language, we have error. Which are classified into two. One is the syntax error, okay. Syntax error, and second one is the logical error. Okay, so syntax error in the sense every language uh, is built on its own syntax. For example, if you are using Python, it should end with a semicolon. Okay, every statement should end with a semicolon. Likewise, in AL programming, you can see that there will be a syntax for example an opening and cur closing curly brace double quotes which, uh, which has to be uh, properly closed single quotes which has to be properly closed likewise so what is basically a syntax error is what any error which you are uh, uh, missing like anything which you are missing which is already written in the program like for example which is already pre-built in the program okay and these are uh, like these will be already this at least this type of will, uh, errors will be identified by al compiler itself okay this we call it as a compiled time error it will automatically understand whereas logical error is what we miss some logic for example anything divided by zero is a logical error this type of error cannot be identified by any programming language provided we have to properly uh, properly handle it okay so, for example, I'll show you an uh, example for a syntax error. So, see, this is a this is one um, code. If I if I miss a curly brace, okay, so it will show you an error in your problems. Like you can see, syntax error curl and cur that is curly brace expected you can see here right so this is what syntax error okay so this can be easily identified by AL itself. But what about the logical error, which it cannot be identified? Okay, so uh, several error handling features are available in application language that can help us to deal with unexpected situations that occur when code is run. So we we are going to explore various methods. Okay, the overview of all these methods, and I'll also show you uh, one method with an example. Okay, so handling errors we can handle in any of these three types. So one method, one uh, type of handling method is uh, is a handling using try method. Okay, you can handle the errors using try method. Okay, this is available in code units. Okay, and second type of is using a collectible uh, method, like collectible which is like there will be a set of methods which you can use it and this will be used in the procedures okay only in the procedures and third type is called the progress window and dialog box to display the message so in order to gather the input from the user this can be used in pages and tables okay so all these things so let us first understand what is a try method Try method is to provide a user friendly error message. So, what do you mean by user friendly? See, if I am uh, if I am leaving this error, okay. Imagine like I am just okay. It is clearly showing it's a syntax error, curly brace expected. So, as we used to work with AL programming, we can easily understand it. But think about a new fresher is using this particular code. Whether he can easily expect what is this error? whether he can easily find what is the error no right so if you are using a try method what you can do is you can write a customized code for that okay so you can write a code and tell that this is what the message is this is what the error is okay so the purpose is to cache the errors or exceptions that occur while running the software when you wanted to cache the exceptions while running the software then you can provide so this is used to provide user-friendly error message and this we will usually write it in the code unit dot run method call. We will call it using a code unit dot run method. Okay. The exception is that the try method calls don't require the right transactions or committed to the database. The one thing which you should aware of is what you should not write any logic inside the try method. Okay. It should not involve any database transactions. Uh, you should not write any database transactions because the try method can't be rolled back okay so it will be committed in the database which will, which everything will be saved uh, 
so the changes that are made to the database by a try method aren't rolled back you should not include database write transactions within a try method by default business central server configuration prevents you from doing this action if a try method contains a database write transaction a runtime error will occur okay it will by default it will show you a runtime method a method that is designated as a try method has a boolean return value which is either true or false okay so here you can see uh, that that is a try method we will be writing inside the code unit so it will be like this okay try method inside that and we will be writing a logic so if you wanted to learn about the try method please leave the comment i will definitely help you out i am not going to show you the example for the try method today i will going to show you this um, type okay this type of uh, handling the errors so we will discuss if you wanted to know about the first two please let me know i will just tell you more about it okay the second type of method is called as the collectible errors okay so collectible errors in the sense uh, al code can capture multiple errors and display them in the user interface which we call it as a collectible errors so this features can simplify validation scenarios specifically uh, it can simplify scenarios where users are presented with a list of errors to fix for example when an error occur in a procedure the procedure will stop running on the first error itself but if we use a collectible error it will essentially postpone error handling to the end of the procedure call and it will give you the complete error messages okay in a user interface and the implementation will not stop on errors okay instead it will continue to gather all the errors as they occur so an example for this collectible user interface we'll be using some methods for example you can use a, a method called error info dot page number and inside that you can use an integer so what it will happen is what um it will specify the page number that an error relates to if you use error info dot field a uh, field uh, number it will specify the field id that error relates to likewise you have various types of methods which are available in al where you can make use of it and the third type of uh, thing is what the progress windows in dialog uh, dialogs to display messages and gather input so uh, what you have to be aware of this particular try is what you should not use any uh, database transaction in this for collectible errors you should use in the procedure and for using progress window you should you have a specific guidelines to follow okay uh, like um, <coughs> a display window which indicates the progress of some processing that may take a longer time if you wanted to show like if you want to stop the running of the program uh, to display an error message okay so there are various things so it, you can write a message to them you can display dialog box or you can even display the field uh, fee uh, error messages okay and this display messages may gather the input from the user and also uh, you have a specific guidelines to follow okay what are the guidelines you are going to follow you have to write the message very correctly according to the grammatical rules for your language and you should not use backslashes which indicates the line break because by default error messages all these things will have a line formatting which is completed automatically okay and use the field caption method and table caption method whenever possible to return names of the fields and the tables as strings so that the user can always recognize a term that indicates a field or a table name and try writing all messages only in one line okay if you want to use more than one line then start each new line after a period instead of in a middle uh, instead of in the middle or a sentence middle of middle of a sentence and avoid entering the text directly in the al code instead enter it uh, as a label so that the message can be translated okay so i'm going to show the code for this particular uh, thing that is using progress bar and the window so let us see this if you want to see this as a blog i can post it uh, so you can see this is the uh, interaction method uh, i haven't written any field okay i haven't used any field only the actions will be there this is for message box and it's a very simple i have used a message box already we have used various message boxes and this is for confirm message okay if i'm using a confirm are you sure you want to delete okay if i click okay it will print okay if it is s yes, it will print okay it if i click cancel it will print not okay let us see an example for this 
so this is a confirm it is displaying or issue i want to delete this so this is what this okay confirm so by default for confirm it is showing yes and no if i click yes it will say no okay it will display message okay and if i say no it will say not okay okay it's very simple i have used next one is str menu so if you want to display a menu like structure then you can do this so you can see how the menu is so str menu you can see it's displaying as a menu so in order to do this str menu okay let us see how it works okay uh, this is a inbuilt procedure that is the built in method which we have <clears throat> okay let us just uh, paste this and see how you have to use this uh, how this method you have to try this okay how you have to use this so this procedure is a keyword okay this is to tell that this this is a procedure str menu is a inbuilt procedure which has these parameters okay so what are these parameters first one is the option members which should be in the text okay so this is one thing this is a one parameter you have to use only the option members which should be in the text so if you go and see here um you can see that you have an option member you can see this is the option members okay so i have created an option member here okay the days you can see here days is a text and in because it needs a text okay and you have these text inside and i'm calling the days inside the str menu okay days and then what is the second one second one is the default number which should be an integer but this is optional how you can find this is optional because something which is inside the square bracket which should be optional if you wanted to use you can use it or else you can delete it and and next one is also an optional which is to be an instruction which you have to display okay where this instructions will be displayed is what this instruction will be displayed on the top of the menu that is which day is today you can see this is the instruction okay by default it should be in one that is what i have told there so what happens by default one and it will be returned as an integer so if you click anything okay and if you click okay you can see only three not a wednesday okay so you can see message you selected percentage one which is a selection okay so selection we have already made it as an integer so this should be written as an integer fine and uh, finally we have used an error message so you we can also try this error message so what happens if you go to an error message the first message will be displayed and once it is an error you cannot go to the next line that is what the purpose of the error so message means it will display you should not display any errors inside the message okay if you want to stop the execution then display that inside the error function if you want to just display some message to the user then make it inside the message function okay got it so these are we call it as an interaction function so basically we'll be using what um str menu and uh, um str menu in order to get the data from the user okay and here you can also pass in the uh, in the str menu you can see like you can get the data from the user and yes so this is how we'll be using like a windows message and errors and confirm messages okay i hope you understand the concept of uh, the error handling method if you wanted to learn the other two methods like uh, try our collectible errors please leave your comment i'll definitely help you with an example thank you for your support um oh see you in the next week take care bye bye